Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Naoki Murasev, and I'm from Chukyo University, Japan. This presentation is titled Kinematics of Men Striking Motion in Ace and Kendo Players. All right, then, I will start my presentation. First, I will introduce Kendo. Kendo is a type of athletic contest in which practitioners wear Kendo, protective armor, and use Shinai, Bamso, to strike each other. Micha said, in this fight, Kendo players attempt to obtain Yuko Datos, but he strikes by striking one of four targets, the man, the top or side of the head, the kote, the parted area of the left and right wrist protector, the door, the left and right side of the armor protecting the torso, and the tsuki, the area of the head protector in front of the throat. Background The object of practicing kendo is not only to improve compatibility, but also to achieve superior kendo, such as promotion to a higher dan, qualification of rank from first dan to eighth dan. The All Japan Kendo Federation describes how kendo dan examinations are conducted from first dan to eighth dan. It is said the kendo dan indicates technical skill of the kendo player. There are age restrictions for taking the dan examination. For example, kendo players who are 45 years of age or younger are not eligible to the eighth dan examination. Thus, all kendo players with the eighth dan should be 46 years of age or older. All kendo players aim to achieve the eighth dan, which is the highest dan while continuing kendo practice for their lifetime. However, passing the eighth dan examination is extremely difficult. Only 19 out of 36 195 examinees passed the exam in 2019 meaning that the pass rate was 0.5%. Therefore, players with the eighth dan are considered gifted experts with an exceedingly high skill level. In previous biomedical research, several studies discussed the striking motion in Kendo. However, these previous studies focused on college players or relatively young players. Few studies have investigated the striking motion of ace and kendo players. Objective The purpose of this study was to explore a time series change in the body joints and shinai angle during the main striking motion in ace and kendo players. Moreover, the magnitude and timing of individual differences in the motion of the shinai and body joints but investigate from common points and different points among Eastern Kendo players in main striking motion. The results may provide very useful information for Kendo coaches when instructing the main striking motion. Method Ten Kendo players with the Eastern participated in this study. All the participants were male because currently no females have the A sound. The trials in this study were conducted using a similar procedure to that described in Murase et al. Reflective markers were attached to the Shinai and to 41 anatomical points on each participant's body. The targets, men and kote were positioned 2.3 meters in front of the participants and every lamp were attached to both targets and randomly eliminated. The participants were instructed to strike the man or kote whose ramp eliminated as quickly as possible and with maximum effort. The motion of the participants striking the man or kote were recorded using a motion capture system with 12 cameras. The sampling frequency was set to 250 Hz. The angle of the upper body, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, 
Uncle and Shinai were calculated according to the method of Rase et al. All calculated angles are in the wider plane. A right handed global coordinate system was established, in which the direction of forward movement in relation to the strike target was defined as a y axis. The lateral direction was defined as the x axis. And the vertical direction was defined as the z axis. The analysis range for the striking motion was from the moment the center of gravity of the body moved with a velocity greater than 0.1 meter per second to the moment at which the target was struck. In this study, we only focus on the main striking motions. The kinematic data were normal using the time from the start of the motion 0% to the target being hit 100%. The average and standard deviation ST for the angle of the shinai and body joints were obtained for each 1% of time. The change in the average value of each angle represents the standard motion of main striking by a and kind of experts while the SD value represents the variation among them. Result and discussion The pattern of change for the upper body angle tends to change to forward tilting direction. In particular, the extent of change towards the forward tilting direction was greater from a normal time of 60% to 100%. The ST of the upper body angle tend to be small for the entire period. Meanwhile, the ST of the Shinai angle tends to be small from a normal time of 0% until approximately 50%, drastically increased until approximately 80%, and then decreased upper main striking. The pattern of change for the left and right shoulders angles tended to change in a flexural direction, and the ST of both angles tend to be large from a normal time of 50% to approximately 100%. The left elbow tends to show little change for the entire period compared to the right elbow. The pattern of change for the left and right wrist angle showed similar tendencies, and the ST of both angles tend to be small for the entire period. The ST of the right hip angle tends to be large for the entire period, while the left hip angle tends to be small for the entire period. The ST of the left and right knee and ankle angle tend to be small for the entire period. Conclusion This study aimed to investigate time series kinematics during the main striking motion in ST and Kendo players by considering the average and ST of various angles. I will explain the conclusion drawn from our results. One. The part with large ST, in other words, part with large individual differences, was the angle of the left and right shoulders, right hip and shinai. The two time at which these individual differences appeared was from the moment at which the shinai was swung up to the man being struck. 3. The STs were relatively small for the angles of the upper body left and right elbows, left and right wrists, left hip, left and right knees, and left and right ankles. This indicated the motion of these parts are common among instant players and are therefore considered essentially important in the main striking motion in Kendo. The result of this study may provide useful information for kendo coaches when instructing men striking motions. Thank you for your kind attention. Any questions and comments are appreciated.